Grade sevens just want to give you a sample problem. Uh, these were all in the blog. They're at the end of the, the today's link. So we're going to go through this question. Todd knows that the ratio of boys to girls in his class is three to five. Since 12 of the students are boys, he says there must be 36 students in the class. Is he right? Explain your thinking. So before you look at the next slide, take a moment to think about how would you attack this problem. You've got three, five, and 12. Those are the three numbers. We're always looking for that fourth one, that elusive x. Here's one way of doing it. We always write it in the form of a ratio. We know that the boys to girls, the ratio, if you look at the order in the question, it says the ratio of boys to girls. We put it in that order, boys first, then girls. And then that is our ratio. On the right-hand side is our actual number. And it says that there's 12 boys in the class. So now we have to figure out where do we put these four uh, figures. We have Three is what represents the first ratio because it says there th the ratio of boys is three and the girls is five, three to five. If you look at the problem, it says 12 of the students are boys, so that's where the 12 goes because the, in the actual numbers, there are 12 boys. And finally, there's our unknown. We're trying to figure out how many kids are in, in the class in total, which will be the, the sum of these two numbers right there, 12 and x. We just don't know how many girls there are right now. So there's a couple of ways to solve this. We're trying to find x, so the actual number. One of the ways we can do it is we can ask ourselves, well, we're starting at 3, and we ended up at 12. And how do we get there? And it's always multiplication or division, so we're doing times 4. What that means is we can do the same thing with 5. If we multiply 5 by 4, we will get 20. And in that case, we will have 12 boys and 20 girls. There's another way of doing it, though. And this is using what's called cross multiplication. We all, we've discussed in class that ratios are actually fractions. It can be expressed as a fraction. So 3 is to 5, or 3 to 5 is 3 fifths. 12 to x, or 12 um, is also 12 over x. Cross multiplication works. We take the numerator of the first fraction, and we multiply it by the denominator of the second fraction. 3 times x gives us 3x. We take the second, the first denominator of the first uh, um, fraction, we multiply it by the numerator of the second fraction. 5 times 12 is 60. And so we have an equation, 3x equals 60. And remember I told you everything comes back to algebra. It always does. We have to isolate the variable. We have to find out what is the value of x all by itself. Well, right now it's being multiplied by 3. So the opposite is to divide by 3. But because it's a balanced equation, we divide both sides by 3. The 3s will cancel on this side, because multiplied by 3, divide by 3 doesn't make a difference. We can get rid of them. And x will equal to 20. So we go back to the original question. He says there must be 36 students in the class. And now we know for sure. There are, we were told at the very beginning that there are 12 boys in the class. And we now know that there are 20 girls in the class. 12 plus 20 is equal to 32, so he is wrong.